You being unconscious won't work on me. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Facing forward, the button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. Question one. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Really? I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Third question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Adds up. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? That one gives me the creeps. Sixth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I could tell something about your answers were fishy. All right, grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. You don't even work here. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. Careful here. It's not very sturdy. Welcome, 
Welcome to the kingdom. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do, show respect. Interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation on a scale of one to ten? Zero. They don't talk much, and I think they came from the surface. The surface? That's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? I'm afraid not. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard screams in the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I fear you won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Valsalia. The ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm sure you can understand. Uh, how's the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Not too well. It's missing some crucial parts. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. But this is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, accompany the parent and go grab the missing parts. But Your Majesty, we should be focused on protecting you. You will, once you two get back with the parts in hand. All right, you heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. You get by too well for someone who doesn't utter a word. You know that? Maybe I should talk less and see where that gets me. Much of what the Queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. The Queen's jester has gone rogue. No matter what happens, he must not make the Queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. Three parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for little B here. There should be some scattered around here.
I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen for? After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, aimless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the queen. It's a cause worth fighting for. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. The part we need should be in the administration room, within the ventilation corridors. But it looks like the door's locked. What? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. Hi! I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? Never disappoint, partner. That, my friend, was the gesture I was talking about. AKA, Bitter Giggle. He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the party, get out of here. Wait, I know my enemies. We're being stalked. These vents are interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out.
That's the, the part, part we, we need, need from this section. section. Let's, Let's head, head back, back and see if it'll fit. fit. Let's head for the elevator to see if the par fits. Hang around the place and talk to the queen when you're ready.
hope your journey was worth it and the elevator a little more usable. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am proud to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child back. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. He was in a damaged state, so I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you have time. 